Welcome back to Organize with Grace podcast. If you're ready to declutter your life and home so that you can make room for peace in your heart, you're in the right place. Join me, Grace Ramon, your host and home organizer, where I and my guests share tips and encouragement to help you get started, especially when you don't know where to start. I'm here with you as you begin your decluttering journey, so let's get going. You ready? It's seven days into the new year, but I still want to greet you. Happy New Year! It's been a hot minute since I connected with you on the podcast. And if you've been listening for any amount of time, whether that's two or four or 40 episodes, I've missed you. And if you just found the podcast and are new around here, welcome. You are welcome here. Make yourself comfortable. Save the podcast so you don't miss an episode. So this past month, oh, let me plug in my computer before it runs out of juice. Now in December, I and my family had a less than stellar holiday um, season (laughs) because uh, we got COVID. Um, It was first my brother-in-law and then um, my husband. And then five days later or so, I got a positive, um, uh, positive test and got COVID and It was not horrible, but it was really, it really worked far more on my mind against my mind and my emotions rather than physically. I mean, physically, I was fatigued. Um, Physically, um, it really um, shut me down um, a bit. So with my mind. I, throughout the days that I was sick, I had many thoughts. I had many things. I had time to reflect on what has happened during the year. Um, And I even had thoughts of shutting down this whole thing, this podcast, the business, and all that I've worked on for the past three years. And I felt really discouraged. Um, And it just felt at the time easy to give up and just walk away. And then um, after all those thoughts, I received a message from one of my cousins who said, hey, I'm listening to um, one of your episodes. And he felt really, um, really encouraged by it. And then the same day, um, my niece is, uh, telling me this, the latest, the latest episode with, uh, Dr. Jess Beachkovsky was really good. And, um, okay. My family does not listen to my podcast. Well, they only started like, um, a little bit ago. (laughs) It's mostly people like you, perfect strangers that, um, you know, that give me feedback and then a few friends who have um, subscribed. And so for me, this was huge that um, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, get trying, I'm not trying hard to get attention, you know, from, you know, from my family or, you know, pressure them to listen, but I was just really pleasantly surprised to um, know that they are tuning in. And for me in my mind, I counted that as, wow, I should keep going. I should continue with the podcasting. Um, And instead of quit, the word that came to mind was pause. And pausing is okay, or dialing down. Um, If there's something that you have been working on that, um, you know, life happened, it's okay to pause. And when it comes to like organizing, um, you right now might have all this energy to declutter, to get organized, most definitely use it. 
Uh, but sometimes we need to pause. Sometimes we're forced to pause because of a life event or a health issue. And it's okay. And what I want to talk to you about, other than, you know, I don't want to belabor, you know, updating you on all the things that I've been going through, but make a long story short, it's it's not been the best holidays, but thankful for January. And um, what I want to tell you today is if you haven't started with decluttering and you hear all the noise about, oh, the best time to declutter is now, and you um, feel the energy, um, well, you feel the energy of others, but not necessarily for yourself, um, it's okay. It's okay to start in February. Um, it's up to you. And at the same time, you know, don't quit if you have started um, and something happened where you stopped or you had to pause. Um, I encourage you to, you know, when the time is right for you with decluttering, um, you know, pick it up again. So let me ask you, did something derail you in some way, even at the beginning of this year? And I don't know specifically what you're going through or what you've been through, but I have some feeling that sometimes you just want to quit and forget about the whole thing. And so I want you to, or I want you to consider not doing that, not quitting. And instead, release the pressure of feeling like you have to, or you need to get your whole house organized before January 31st. Um, release that pressure. If you haven't given yourself that permission, if you haven't given yourself that permission slip, I'm going to give it to you right now. <laughs> and it's actually... You know, organization is great. It has many, many benefits. Um, decluttering has many benefits, and we t talk a lot about that in the podcast, and we're going to continue to do that. Um, and it's really, if, if it comes, if it only comes to the point, or if it comes to the point where it's really, really bothering you, then maybe that could be the time. But any other time, if there's some pressure that you're feeling um, either from yourself that you have to get organized, that you need to get organized, um, you know, step back and reevaluate that. Where, where are those feelings coming from? And on the other hand, if it's really bothering you, perhaps you're ready to take the steps forward toward um, your decluttering project, project, but do it for you. And, you know, not for someone else or for reasons outside of yourself. When you get together with me, with my uh, virtual um, organization, um, we talk about that. And, you know, we, um, well, you don't know. I got to get that out of my <laughs> language. It's so hard <laughs> to not say, you know, but okay. In, when you work with me, as far as me being your virtual organizer, at the beginning, we talk about that. We talk about why. Why do you want to get started with decluttering your home? And this needs to be clear. This needs to be written down because it will be your anchor. It will be your anchor for those times that you do feel like quitting. When you do feel like, um, what's the point of all of this? And when you see things messy before they get neat. And so we get clear on why um, you are um, attempting, why you are wanting to do, um, to do this. And I want to be here to, to be that for you, to be your support, 
to be your encourager, to be your guide. So the first step that I would like for you to do um, so that we can connect more, um, I have been less and less on social media lately. Um, eventually I'll pick it up again, but um, I am mostly on the podcast, or shall I say, I would like to be more on the podcast and be um, more attentive to my email list. So that's where I want you to get on ASAP. Get on my email list. This is the primary way you and I can communicate. And I would love to get to know you better. And I'm going to leave a link uh, in the podcast uh, description so that you can sign up for my email list. And um, really, really soon, um, I have created, with the help of a copywriter, because I am not the best with my words. I love writing, um, but I needed help with making it more um, so that it connects more with you. So I worked with a copywriter and I'm going to, you know, there's, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about like getting help when we need it um, in a few minutes. So continue to listen. An email-based, detailed, step-by-step on how to declutter like a pro. In the meantime, you can get on and um, get the quick one-page uh, description, you know, one-page step-by-step on how to do that, and you can even get started by following it. But if you want more details, um, again, get on the email list so that um, you can receive these emails that will provide you with the details, with the step-by-step, with the encouragement. If you are um, needing that for this um, for this time, um, you don't know where to, you don't know how to get started, where to get started. Um, so I hope to be able to, um, be the one to help you get started and to remove the blocks, remove the difficulty of doing that, of getting started. They are bite-sized steps and, My organizing buddies might not like it, but it's okay (laughs) because I'm going to give you with these steps are like, you know, the exact way that we, um, we go in and, um, help declutter and organize, uh, a client's, um, a client's home, a client's space. Um, I'm looking forward to communicating with you in this way. So come on and get on, click that link below or, you know, in the podcast description. Now let's go back to what I was discussing earlier. Let's release ourselves of the pressure of having to, or needing to start now. And, um, instead grab that tool, grab those steps, take a look at them and they are very doable, um, My rule of thumb is, um, like many others who are in this industry, is start small. You got to exercise your organization and decluttering muscles first before you tackle the big stuff. Um, You can get started with a junk drawer. You can get started with one shelf. Um, It doesn't have to be huge. So... um, Get on, get on the email list. Once again, I know I'm belaboring the point, but that's really how we can continue to keep in touch with each other. Um, Like I said, I have not spent a whole lot of time on social media. That could be a whole nother episode that I can talk to you about and what I've been through regarding social media. But um, organizing simply takes time, but it doesn't have to, um, it doesn't have to, be difficult. Um, it doesn't have to be overly like emotional. I'm here for you and I would love to work with you, um, as your virtual organizer. 
still though, whether you work with me or not, um, that's besides the point. I won't hold that against you if you decide you don't work, that you, you know, that you not work with me. Um, what I hope is that you are able to move forward. And, but if you're like most of us, you need help. I need help. I need help all the time. Um, I like to think that I'm fairly independent and I, you know, I can do most things by myself, but, um, having had COVID reminds me how, um, dependent I am and reminds me how, um, frail I am really, um, as a human being and that we need each other. And, um, I I wasn't willing for a long time to admit that to people that I, um, that I, not just to people, but to myself that I need help. And you know, the truth is I've needed help all along, especially, um, you know, building this little business with organized with grace. This would not be possible, um, all by myself. Um, I've had a lot of help, um, with, with building this with, um, by listening to people that are smarter than me. Um, you know, they say like, if you feel like you're the smartest, um, person in the room, then, um, well, that's not a good thing. (laughs) I'm going to get you that quote. I don't know if how I'm going to get that to you, but maybe on one of those emails. Um, so there's a lot of support available and I want to offer you my support. Okay. So once again, happy new year. Um, there is one episode that will be, um, available to you hopefully in a week or two regarding, um, closets and what we can do to try to work on our closets and get that decluttered, um, and organized so that it works, um, for you so that it, is a closet that you love. Um, so it's a conversation with um, one of my uh, organizing uh, colleagues that I met online, and she's great. It was a great, uh, it was a great uh, talk. And so I want to share that with you sometime this month, and I will uh, talk to you later. And I hope you're well. And once again, Happy New Year, and I'm looking forward to continuing this decluttering journey with you. So conclusion, there is no quitting with this podcast, with the business, it will continue on. There may be some pauses, but you and I will journey on. You and I will continue on.